What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Madden 06 Superstar Mode. It was the first ever Superstar Mode in Madden and I believe it was one of the first RPG sports titles that you ever had. Cause MLB The Show 06 would've came out during the 06 year and we know Madden 06 comes out, Madden 05, so on and so forth. Like Madden 20 is available now in 2019, you get it? Good. Now this game had a bunch of features, right? You had to pick your parents. That's right, your parents, they played a big role and how good you were how to pick your agents how to give it uh, how to give interviews you could also perform in movies and in commercials there were endorsement deals you lived in an apartment you could upgrade to a loft you could do all those things move into a mansion but we're gonna touch on that a little bit later now I showed you the DNA screen and then the DNA uh, portion you picked your parents and your parents played a huge role on where you would get drafted how high how low things like that if you weren't feeling that and you were a college football fan your best bet was to pick up NCAA 06 do their race for the Heisman game mode now in Madden 06 superstar mode you could pick any position right tackle left tackle right guard uh, left guard center you can play tight end you can play fullback you could be a punter you could be a kicker and of course all the positions on defense were available as well in NCAA 2006 it wasn't that way you could be a scrambling quarterback a pocket passing quarterback running back uh, you could not be a tight end, you could not be a fullback, could not be an offensive lineman, and of course it could be every defensive position, could not be a kicker or a punter. So we picked pocket passer, that allowed us to do the 7-on-7 seven -seven drill, which is called pass skeleton. We performed so well that the number one team in the nation offered us a scholarship, USC, so that's pretty dope. Or you could walk on to your favorite school. If you did not perform well, you will be going to a school that is not particularly good at football. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to put no school out there. I'm going to say, if you don't perform well, you're not going to go to a big-time program. If you do perform well, you will. So your performance on the sticks will really determine where you were going to go in this game. All right? And, of course, you lived out your whole college career. You got fan mail. You could, you could look at your Heisman hype list and all that stuff. So it was a very, very good game mode just by itself. But the icing on the cake of this game mode in a Madden 06 is that you could import your player into Madden so you went from a college player to the NFL and it's your same player and stuff like that one of the issues with the DNA is that where if you got the perfect parents right your daddy is an ex quarterback your mama ran track you about to be faster than fast but your guy is black and you happen to be white or your guy is white and you happen to be black you could not change that so that was one of the drawbacks so you had to keep on searching keep on looking until your face matched up with what your parents or who you wanted your parents to be right and again your parents played a huge role on where you would get drafted and so on and so forth so this character got drafted by the oakland raiders and i'm from oakland and again this is oakland you can see that's oracle got the coliseum right by there the freeway to the left that is 880 drove down there many times people do side shows on the freeway it's crazy sometimes right but if you look right there on the on that screen there was a movie role part because like i said you could do movie roles you could also be in commercials you'll get endorsements and so on and so forth now terrell davis would be your mentor he would hit you up on your cell phone he'll also leave you some voice messages text messages and stuff like that you can go visit him at the mentor office you would also give interviews now terrell davis he was your mentor it didn't matter if you were a running back quarterback offensive lineman punter or kicker terrell davis he is your mentor point blank period if you go the madden 06 route where you don't import your guy from nfl street 2 or ncaa 06 your agent is gonna suck your agent is not gonna be too good at anything interview skills endorsements influence negotiations and of course if they have the performance institute so what's the performance institute the performance institute is exactly what it sounds like it helps your performance to increase on the field it will help you get boost to your overall to certain attributes if they did not have it you did not get access to it okay and having access to it is very very key because again it will help your player to get better if you went the ncaa 06 route you had a higher chance again drafted in the second round i don't believe you could get drafted in the first round but second round basically the first round in this game mode and if you went the ncaa 06 route you had a better chance of getting a better agent you could get these agents at some point in your career but it's going to be later on down the road when you prove that you are a nfl superstar now it's time for the nfl draft we did a running back from texas 
we picked our parents and so on and so forth. My dad, he was an ex-NFL player that played in the league for a while. I believe they said he was a starter. My mom, she had a high IQ. She was in the chest, and I believe she liked to work out or something like that. It was kind of average because you can get like a Hall of Fame daddy and a mama that played in the WNBA and ran track and your, and your kid or you or you are just going to be like a superstar. This is crazy how good you can be right off the bat. So when you go this route, like I've been saying, you will not get drafted in the first two rounds. But the third round is where you can get selected. And that's really what you are aiming for if you don't go the NCAA 6 route or if you don't go the NFL street route. So we're coming up to where we're going to be selected. And we get selected third round, pick number 23 to those Jacksonville Jaguars. And that's where your mirror opens up. Your mirror is where you can edit your player's appearance. And there's an appearance ball at the bottom of that little box. And right now we're in the red. The fans wouldn't really like my appearance. The, the people that want to maybe give me an endorsement deal, they don't really like how I'm looking too much either. So all these things play a role in how you look. The different face masks, mouthpieces, if you go with a different number. Like if I was to wear 48 or something like that, they, they wouldn't be feeling that. So 23, as of right now in the Jaguars, that's the best number that you can get. Again, if you go with wristbands, little elbow bands, elbow pads, they're going to be feeling that a little bit more as well. So our appearance is coming together pretty well. So we are now in the green. We go with different colored gloves, and it works out even more. They, I don't know. I mean, hey, that's what they were into. That's what they liked. And I just think it adds a little bit of flair to this game mode because it makes your appearance actually matter. It's not just something that looks good. It actually matters to your career and how people perceive you. If you've got knee braces, it's going to go down. Maybe Fat Brady should have knee braces because, I mean, I, he, he was a big boy. And I'm sure his knees were hurting. So not just your appearance on the field, but you also had your appearance off the field, your haircut, how you want it to look. You could have a fade. You could have cornrows. You could have dreadlocks. You could change the color. It was pretty intuitive. It was pretty cool. I like this feature. Again, it's pretty good in what you have in Madden right now. But you couldn't make your player super fat at quarterback. That's what I was trying to do with one of my players in Madden 20. You couldn't really make him super fat. I can make this running back super fat, super skinny. I can make him look how I want him to look. And, of course, I can change his hair how I want to change his hair. So we leave the barber shop. Thank you for hooking me up. My face is looking clean. See down in Jacksonville. I'm guessing that's how Jacksonville actually looks. You have, you have the river right there. You can mess around and get some ink on your arm as well and i don't get why we don't have this in the newer maddens i get that there have been some lawsuits uh, i get that i believe colin kaepernick and uh, odell beckham jr had to get permission from the tattoo artist to allow the tattoos to be used in the game i don't care about that because those are those actual tattoos for them these are generic tattoos these are tattoos that any tattoo artist can do because they're just genetic they're in a genetic little book that you can pick out these should be available these i don't think have any copyright to it or anything like that but ea sports is scared and we know ea sports loves their money more than they love delivering a good part product and they're not trying to get sued by anybody in their mama so now it comes to the actual game play how does the game actually play it's a tad bit disappointing looking back on it for a couple of reasons. One, one of my issues, if you are a player, you should not be able to call plays unless you're a quarterback that has earned the respect of the coach to call your own plays. But that's not the case here. As a running back, I call the plays. Not only do I call the plays, I play as all the other players on the field. Again, this was their first go around with this game mode. So you can kind of give them, you know, a little bit of slack for that. But I like the much better Madden 07. And we probably will look at Madden 07 Superstar mode because a lot changed in that game mode. A lot changed in that game mode from, M from uh, Madden 06 to Madden 07. So like I said, you get to pick the plays. So as a running back, I'm calling nothing but counters and dives and sweeps. And you know it's all about me. But again, you call your own plays. If it is a pass play, I would play as Leftwich and not as Dawkins. So again, that's not the funnest thing in the world. And the last thing that really, really sucks and holds this game back from being played over and over and over again, at least from, from me, is the fact that there is no Super Sim. They did not introduce Super Sin on the PS2 Maddens until Madden 11. So, you would have to really play as everybody. You couldn't sim just to play with your character. If you really had to play a whole game without being able to make any 
free agency moves, signings, draft picks, and stuff like that. But this was the first one, man. But again, Madden 07 was a little bit better. We'll probably touch on that another day. But I appreciate you guys rocking with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Y'all stay safe out there. It's a crazy world in case you didn't know. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, say it with me, hot sauce.